I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for quilt creations we are starting a new scene and we are going on a safari. So in your craft packet you will have your new background. You will also have two very small googly eyes, one strip of pink quilling paper and three strips of gray quilling paper and I will show you how to make a hippo. Now to begin we're going to take our first strip of gray and slide it into the little slot on our quilling tool and roll it up into a large circle. Once the whole strip is rolled up, we can let it go and remove it from our quilling tool. This is going to be our hippo's body. So you can either seal it up and leave it at this size, or you can unroll it just a little bit. Just hold the center and unroll just a bit to make it a little larger. So that's up to you. But then once it's the size you like, we will take our glue stick and put a little bit of glue on the end. And then we'll just press that against the rest of the roll to seal it up. And this is going to stay a circle, so we don't have to do anything with that. So we'll just set that to the side. Next, we'll take another strip of gray and we're going to cut it in half. Set one half to the side and we're going to roll the other half up into a circle. This is going to be part of the hippo's face. So once that's rolled up, we can let it go. And we can either leave it the size it is or open it up a little more again. That's up to you. This is going to be about half of the hippo's face. So once it's a size you like, again, we'll seal it up with a little bit of glue on the end of the strip and press it against the rest of the roll. And then we're going to pinch this one into a half circle. So we're going to flatten out one edge and then kind of pinch on the corners to make a little half circle. And this will be the top of the hippo's head. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our pink strip and we're going to cut it into fourths. So we'll cut it in half and cut those two halves in half. They don't have to be exact, just pretty close. And then we'll take one strip and roll it up into a smaller circle. Once we have that rolled up, we're going to keep it small. We're going to go ahead and seal it up while it is still tight on our quilling tool. And then we can remove it. And then we're going to take another one of our pink strips and do the same thing. So then once we have both those pieces, we can take our other half strip of gray and this time we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue along one edge and then <clears throat> we'll take our two little pink circles that we just made and put them onto that glued part of our strip and then we're going to roll the gray around <coughs> our pinks and if you would like you can keep it 
tight like this, or we can roll a little bit looser. We'll still want it to be kind of close. We don't want too much space in between, but we can have a little space. This is going to be the bottom of our hippo's face, this little snout. So once we have it all rolled up and about the size we like, then we can seal it up. And then we do want it to stay in this little oval shape. And this is going to go right down here at the bottom of our hippo's face. Now for our other two pink strips, these are going to be the ears or the insides of the ears. So we'll roll each of these up into a small circle. Okay. Then we can let it go, but we do want it to stay pretty small. It doesn't have to be super tight, but still fairly small. And then we'll seal it up. And then we're going to make them into half circles again. So if you just press it against your thumb and then press against those two little edges, then it'll give you a good little half circle shape. So we'll make another one just like this. And then with our last strip of gray, we're going to go ahead and cut it into fourths as well, just like we did with the pink strip. And then we'll take one of those fourths and put some glue along the edge. We're going to wrap the inner ear to make the outer ear. And you do not have to, but if you would like to, you can add a little more glue here and there as you're rolling if you want to keep it real tight around. We're just going to roll that all the way up. And then we'll go ahead and seal our ear. And there we have one little ear. Now we can leave it just as it is or we can try and shape it a little if you want it to pinch up a little more, or go a little more rounded at the bottom, whichever way you like. We'll do the same thing with the second ear. Once we have our ears done, we just need to make some legs. So our last two pieces of gray will become hippo legs. So we're gonna roll those up into a small circle. And then we can let it go. And we want these to stay fairly small too, but if you would like to make them a little bit larger, you can. And then we will seal them up. And then we're going to start like we're making the same half circle, but we're going to press a little closer in than we did before to make more of a bell shape. And that will be the hippo's leg. So we just make one more like that. And once we have that all done, we can grab our background and our little eyes and we can start assembling. So we'll pick a spot on our background where we would like to place our hippo. And then we'll add some glue to our big round hippo body. and place it down on our background wherever we want our hippo 
go to B. And then we can grab the little legs and add some glue to the back of them. And if you'd like a little strip along the top edge where it's going to connect to the body to just help secure that piece to the body itself. The same thing for our other leg. Then we can take our top head piece and add some glue to the back of that. And along one edge where it's going to connect to the rest of the body. And then we can take our hippo snout. Put some glue along the back of it. And then along the top where it will connect to the rest of the head. And we'll add our ears. I'm putting some glue along the flat edge at the bottom where it connects to our hippo head again. And then, last but not least, we just need to add our eyes. So we'll just peel off the back and stick them right on our little gray half circle head. And there is our first animal on our safari scene, our little fat hippo. So thank you for joining me for Quilled Creations and I will see you next week to add another animal to our scene. Bye.